Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahushat. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you occupy out there pushing this word of sincerity and truth. Coming back at you with another lesson. This is a brief update on the tariffs that's going on between China and the United States. Okay, now um, yesterday, which was um, what, uh, April the 3rd, China decided to put tariffs against the U.S. on the automobile industry, on the uh, soybean industry, and on a couple of more uh, um, industries that the U.S. has. So they're taxing the hell out of the U.S. and the U.S. taxing the hell out of the, uh, China. Now the U.S. is in debt with China by billions and billions of dollars, and they're doing this, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is stupid. It's, it's basically a trade war. And according to Trump, he said um, the U.S. is going to win this trade war, which they're not, man. It's going to lead to uh, a World War III, man, scenario, possibly. But it's going to lead to some type of um, financial collapse. So um, I'm reading this article right here, and it says Trump defiant as China adds trade penalties, okay? And that word defiant means to be like resistant or challenging. So the Trump is not backing down from this, man. And China is not backing down from it. So basically at this point, they're um, throwing jabs at each other right now, man. And the most has in control of this whole thing got these two dummies, the president of the United States, Trump, and the president of China, you know, doing this to each other because these economies are going to collapse. These economies are going to fall apart because China is another proud nation that thinks that they're going to be the next rulers. Because they, you know, everything basically comes from them. A lot of products, I would say, come from around the world comes from them. And they basically uh, think they're going to be next rulers in rulership, but they're not. The nation of Israel is going to be the next rulerships on this, rulers on this earth, man. This is Proverbs 8 and 13. It says, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Okay? So the most high hates these guys because, look, check this out. China and the U.S. are proud. Both of them are proud nations, man. And arrogant and evil, man. Okay? So the most high is going to destroy these people, man. It's just a game being played. The chess game is once again being played, you know, for uh, Israel to come into power, man. For these nations to destroy themselves. All right? This is um, Isaiah uh, 13 and 11. It says, and I will punish the world for their for their evil okay and the wicked for their iniquity and i will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease okay and the arrogance of the proud which is uh you know it's two-thirds involved in that too and all these nations but right now what i'm focusing on is the u.s and uh china man okay and their their, their proud is gonna pride is gonna cease man because the no side is gonna knock these people off their pedestals man Okay, and this is all a part of prophecy, man, for uh, the nation of Israel to come into power and rule over all these heathens, man. Okay? It says, uh, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Okay? And so uh, Trump and his pr proud ways, China and their proud ways, both of them are basically the most sad, like he did in uh, Egypt with Pharaoh. He's building up their uh, pride, man, to make an example out of these two nations that think they're... Uh, you know, gonna be the whoever they think they're gonna be the next rulers, basically. You know what I'm saying? And this guy Trump, you know, every day in the news now, you know, it's more, it's getting more deeper and deeper into uh, war, war uh, words, because these guys are putting these tariffs on each other, man. And the stock market for the past few days has been going down because there's fears of these tariffs that China is putting on the United States, man. And it's only going to get worse and worse, and it's only a matter of time before this stuff escalates and, and the food prices and other things here in the United States start to rise up, man. Okay? And if the things you were able to pay for before, the cheap products or the products that had a reasonable price, is no longer going to be that way. And that's going to cause revolution in this society, man. Because people are not going to be able to afford certain things that they really need, man. Okay, and don't be surprised as, as gas prices go up, oil prices, and everything else, man, because this place is going down. America is on its last leg. And, um, you know, hey, only thing you can do is watch and pray right now, you know. <laughs> so um, this is Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So these stupid things that they're doing to each other, putting taxes on each other, is the most highest making them do this, man, to each other. 
Okay, because the man's going is of the Lord, man. The Lord is controlling all of this, man. And it's basically it's controlled demolition, man. Because the U.S. is going down by nuclear war. And before uh, a nuclear war, it's going to be um, a financial collapse. It's going to be race wars. It's going to be all type of uh, chaos and hell going on in the streets, man, when this place collapses financially. And I think China is going to be that country that collapses this uh, economy, man. You're in billions and billions of debt, billions and billions of dollars in debt with this country, and you decide to put taxes on them? Are you crazy? So, like it's in the streets, man, if you do that in the streets, man, that's war. And basically, this is a silent war that's going on now that's just adding up and it's escalating, and it's going to get worse and worse. And you watch and see, um, the most high is going to bring America down, man. Okay? This, this place ain't got too far to go, man. And, uh, you know, um, the, hey, the most I know is, is controlling this, man. This is on Proverbs 15 and 9. It says, a man's heart divides up his way. Okay, so these thoughts that Trump is saying, he's like, well, these trade wars, ain't nothing going to happen. We're going to win. The U.S. going to win the trade wars. The trade wars are nothing. But, hey, that's what he's devising in his heart. And it says, but the Lord directed his steps. But the Lord directed his steps to what? Destruction, man. <laughs> okay, death and destruction, man. That was the theme last year. This year is the theme is on prophecy, man. And prophecy is that the U.S. is going down, man. It's going to be a financial collapse in this society, man. Okay? And these tariffs are escalating. And it's getting more chaos out here. There's more shootings going on. This weather is all crazy. You know, people are crazy. It's all out of control. And it's only a matter of time before Yahweh Bashimah Shai destroys this place and brings it down and brings all hell out here, man. Okay? So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you Akimat that pushing this word is sincerity and truth. Shalom.